Last week here on Chess Center, we uh, discussed uh, recent research in England, which uh, sort of stated that uh, chess maybe doesn't make kids uh, smarter, or at least the, the newspaper report uh, said it that way. But uh, we have uh, Ian Rogers uh, from uh, Melbourne, Australia, grandmaster journalist, who actually wrote a column uh, about this topic on our website uh, on chess.com. And uh, I wanted to ask him also here, uh, what are the, the limitations maybe of this uh, research? What is your uh, take on, uh, on the research in England? Well, all research has limitations and this study was certainly very comprehensive, 100 schools, it, it followed the kids for a number of years. So it's, it's one of the best pieces of work that has been done. It's just that you wonder about some of the uh, evidence that it, it, accumulated because, for example, it was only teaching the kids 30 hours of chess in a year and you wonder how much impact that would have. Uh, it's, it's really not so much. And there, there are a couple of other problems. You wondered about the quality of the chess teaching. It seemed as if there were a number of teachers at the schools that basically taught for a very limited period and the kids were playing chess most of the rest of the time. So it wasn't uh, instruction for even that full period. But as I say, it is one of the better pieces of research. It directly contradicts uh, an also well-structured uh, Spanish study which looked at the kids immediately after they'd finished the chess courses. Uh, the English study waited a year before they looked at the tests of the students and found there was no difference in maths or English achievement. So uh, it, it is a, a slightly uh, discouraging result, except that when you read the full study, they actually came out largely in favour of teaching chess, but not for the reasons of improving your maths performance. And uh, I'm, I'm waiting on some new research. In fact, uh, the, the person who was originally supposed to publish the column, a gardener chess, are actually involved in a giant study in Australia, uh -huh. uh, which will take in many, many schools. And uh, it's examining in more detail uh, certain facets, for example, whether chess is, is beneficial for kids on the autistic spectrum, uh, as well as just the general population. And uh, when those results come out, uh, they should, should be very interesting indeed. And, and each study adds to our knowledge. So the English study may be depressing for chess teachers, but there's been a number of, of somewhat positive studies. Uh, the, but the, the problem for chess, I guess, is the English study is the most rigorous one done to date and it will be something that other studies will look at and, and uh, try to structure even better to get better results. But we have currently no evidence that uh, after a year, chess, chess uh, study will really help, help you uh, achieve in maths or English or science. But as I say, one study and uh, we're early days in, in this sort of research. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Uh, we'd love to have you back on uh, Chess Center when uh, those uh, results in uh, Australia uh, are out. Thanks a lot and uh, see you soon. Thanks a lot.